here's my preview of the Baylor at Texas football game. Texas runs a pro-style offense. They average 35.4 points per game, 234.1 passing yards per game, and 198.8 rushing yards per game. Time possession-wise, 27 minutes, 39 seconds, 54 for 141 on third down, 10 for 19 on fourth, 257 first downs. They have committed 10 turnovers, 10 interceptions, 3 fumbles, allowed 12 sacks this year, allowed and 29 tackles for loss. They have had 23 pass uh, breakups against them and 24 quarterback hurries. They even allowed a block kick. The average O line weighed at 2 3 deep is 321.25 pounds. Of course, Quinn Ewers is their starting quarterback, number three. Six foot two inch, 206 pound quarterback that's a freshman. 129 completions out of 233 attempts for 1,614 yards with 14 touchdowns and six interceptions. And 14 rushing attempts for negative 14, 10, negative 10 yards. But the longest 16 yards. So you could tell he's not a scrambler. He's not. Be John Robinson, he's going to be NFL player a year from now. Is obviously a key player to watch. Number five, six foot, 220 pound running back. That's a junior. 229 rushing attempts for 1,401 yards with 16 touchdowns. And 19 receptions for 314 yards with two touchdowns. He didn't even catch a pass last game against Kansas. He just ran up, ran the ball all that time. Roshan Johnson, I know he was questionable going into the last game, but he played anyway. Number two, six foot two inch, 223 pound running back. That's a senior. 80 rushing attempts for 477 yards with three touchdowns and 14 receptions for 128 yards with one touchdown. Jonathan Brooks, number 24, six foot 204 pound running back. That's a freshman. 24 rushing attempts for 179 yards with four touchdowns. Keelan Robinson, number seven, five foot nine inch, 185 pound running back. That's a junior. 17 rushing attempts for 59 yards and 13 receptions for 160 yards with three touchdowns. That's just naming some guys at running back. Now, obviously, the best wide receiver is Xavier Worthy. Number eight, six foot one inch, 163 pound wide receiver. He's a sophomore, so he is not NFL bound yet. Maybe two years from now, he's going to be gone. 46 receptions for 614 yards with nine touchdowns and two rushing attempts for 14 yards. Jordan Wellington, number four, six foot one inch, 203 pound wide receiver. That's a junior. 43 receptions for 560 yards with one touchdown. Javion, Javion Sanders, number zero, six foot four inch, 249 pound tight end. That's a sophomore. 47 receptions for 512 yards with five touchdowns. So he's the second most on the team. In terms of reception receptions then from there it's just a big drop-off and I mean a big drop-off in terms of receptions and all that and yards at, at that so I'm going to leave it at that now defensively they run a 4-2-5 defense they allow 20.6 points per game they allow 244.5 passing yards per game, 125 rushing yards per game. They allow 233 first downs, 72 for 176 on third down, and 14 for 27 on fourth down. 24 sacks on the year, 80 tackles for loss, 31 quarterback hurries, 38 pass breakups. They forced 11 turnovers this year, 8 interceptions and 3 fumbles. So, they blocked four kicks, which is like, wow. So, we got to protect pretty good. I mean, 32 minutes, 9 seconds on time possession allowed. The average 2 at 3 deep at the defensive line is 287.5556 pounds. But 6, 2, 3 deep at defensive tackle, nose tackle, 310 pounds. 3 deep at the defensive end spot, 242. 242 and two thirds pounds. Some players that keep on are like Jalen Ford, number 41, six foot two inch, 235 pound linebacker. That's a junior. 96 tackles, eight tackles for loss. 
two sacks, three interceptions, one pass breakup, one quarterback hurry, three forced fumbles, two fumble recoveries, Damari Vion Overshawn, number zero, six foot four inch, 220 pound linebacker that's a senior, 82 tackles, eight tackles for loss, three pass breakups, three sacks, two quarterback hurries. Judd De Baron, number 23, six five foot 11 inch, 190 pound defensive back that's a junior, 63 tackles, 90, no, I mean nine tackles for loss, one two interceptions, one pass breakup, and one fumble recovery. Jaron Thompson, number 28, six foot, 187 pound defensive back that's a junior, 59 tackles, six pa and pa six pass breakups. Anthony Cook, number 11, six foot one inch, 188 pound defensive back that's a senior, 54 tackles, 3.5 tackles for loss, 0.5 sacks, two pass breakups, and one forced fumble. Ov Ogawofo, O G H O O U F O. I apologize if I butchered that last name. Number eighteen, six foot one inch, two hundred thirty nine pound edge rusher. Like that's a senior. Forty eight tackles, eight point five tackles for loss, two point five sacks, three pass breakups, two quarterback hurries, and two forced fumbles. Ryan Watts, number six. Six foot three inch, 206 pound defense back that's his junior. 45 tackles, four tackles for loss, one sack, one interception, and three pass breakups. Baron Sorrell, number 88. Six foot four inch, 258 pound edge rusher. That's a sophomore, 38 tackles, nine tackles for loss, 5.5 sacks, five quarterback hurries, one pass breakup, and one forced fumble. Demonte Tucker Dorsey, number three, five foot 10 inch, 210 pound. Linebacker, that's a senior. Three tackles for loss. 2.5 sa sacks. One and four one force fumble. Devon Tevondre Sweat. Sweat. Number 33. Six foot four inch. 346 pound defensive lineman. That's a senior. 28 tackles. 2.5 tackles for loss. Two pass breakups and five quarterback hurries. Keandre to Coburn. Number 99. Six foot two inch. 344-pound defensive lineman, that's a senior, 24 tackles, 3 tackles for loss, 1.5 sacks, 1 quarterback hurry, and 1 forced fumble. Keaton Crawford, number 21, 5'11", inch, 202-pound defensive back, that's a junior, 23 tackles, 2 pass breakups, and one and blocked 1 kick. Mora Ojomo, number 98, 6'3", inch, 248-pound defensive lineman, that's a senior, 23 tackles, 5.5 tackles for loss, 3 tackles, for, uh, probably 3 sacks, I mean, right there, and 2 quarterback hurries. I'll fix that in my stats. Okay, so Devon, just Sean Jamison, number 5, 5 foot 10 inch, 187 pound defensive back, that's a senior, 22 tackles, 2 tackles for loss, 1 sack. Two interceptions, seven pass breakups, blocked one kick. Byron Murphy Jr., number 96 foot one inch, 302 pound defensive lineman. That's a sophomore, 20 tackles, three tackles for loss, and one sack. Jalen Golbo, G U I L B E A U. I apologize if I butchered that last name. Number 13, six foot, 182 pound defensive back. That's a freshman, 19 tackles. 0.5 tackles for loss, two pass breakups, and four quarterback hurries. Alfred Collins, number 95, six foot five inch, 291 pound defensive lineman, that's a junior. 12 tackles, two tackles for loss, and two quarterback hurries. Prince Dorba, number 32, six foot three inch, 232 pound edge rusher, that's a sophomore, seven tackles, one tackle for loss. Vernon Brought, Auten, number 45, six foot four inch, 293 pound defensive lineman. That's a sophomore, six tackles, one tackle for loss, and four quarterback hurries. Ethan Burks, number 91, six foot six inch, 245 pound edge rusher, and that's a freshman, five tackles, 1.5 tackles for loss, and one quarterback hurry. JD Coppery, the third, number 27, six foot, 289 pound defensive back, that's a sophomore, six tackles. Finley Justice, number one, six foot two inch, 248 pound edge rusher, that's a freshman. Six tackles, 0.5 tackles for loss, 0.5 sacks. Jameer Johnson, number 31, six foot, 175 pound defensive back. That's a sophomore, 
point five tackles. I mean, five tackles for five tackles and one pass breakup. Jamon Jamon Tap, number seventeen, six foot three inch, two hundred forty one pound edge rusher. That's a freshman. One tackle and one quarterback hurry. Now, special teams wise, their starting kicker is Bert Auburn, number forty five, six foot seventy seven pound kicker. That's a sophomore. Made forty eight extra points out of forty eight. 18 for 23 on field goals though, 7 for 8 on 20 to 29 yards, 4 for 6 on 30 to 39, 7 for 9 on 40 to 49 yards, the longest 49 yards. Daniel Treo, number 35, 6 foot 2 inch, 195 pound kick punter, that's a senior, 40 punts for 1,656 yards. The long is 61 yards, the average is 41.4 yards. 12 punts have landed inside a 20 yard line. Some punts have went over 50 yards. So, now I went through all that information for you. I know you're coming off of a, an emotional loss at the last seconds, but you got to put that behind you and look forward to here and now against your, another rival. And this is possibly your last time you're going to play Texas and Austin because you never know what's a scheduling deal here. I mean, that gives you a lot more motivation. You got to find a way to finish strong here and try to get to a better bowl game than you are, right? You might be projected to be. Now, special teams wise, you got to execute better. I mean, you got to make field goals. I'm not going to say John Mayers is the only reason that we lost that game because there were other reasons. But if you would have made a field goal, that would force TCU to go for a touchdown instead of going for a field goal. So I'm just saying that, and you gotta have good punts. We got have no blunders out there, like a fumble, miss snap. I mean, bad snap over the guy's head, anything like that. Anything blocking related. No kickoff return touchdowns allowed. No kickoff punt return touchdowns allowed either. So you gotta be good in that area. And you also need to be have good special teams if you can. I mean, well, you're receiving as well, and just be smart. So now defensively, I think it's key to sh shut down the run or slow it down as much as you can. Shut down Bijan Robinson. Limit him not only as a runner but as a pass catcher. I know he's not like he doesn't catch the ball as much as like a Deuce Vaughn or anything, but you gotta find a way to limit him in the running game. Cause you did a really and you gotta keep that run defense you had last week and apply it to this game. You gotta do that. Now, pass defense wise, you've got to get to the quarterback better. And I you might need to throw in some blitzes and confuse Quinn Ewers. He's not been looking great recently. Not great. So that's why they run the ball a lot more. So you run the ball some. And he had 30 incompletions, remember, against Oklahoma State. Too, I mean. And he didn't play that great against Texas either. I mean, TCU either. So you just got to find a way to mix him up. And I know he's going to make some throws that creates some guys open, but you got to have good pass coverage in this game. Not just on wide receivers or tight ends, but halfbacks as well. So, that's another thing. And of course, across the board, limit the penalties. I mean, now, and you got to execute, do simple better. Now, offensively, you did so well in terms of yards last game. And I know... Blake shape it through a pick near the half. So he needs to protect the ball better. You gotta protect the ball. First of all, you got you had a lot of yards in the game, but you didn't win. And one more first down wins that game. And I'm not gonna debate about that. Twelve man on the field when the referee's under center now, because that's a that's a substitution deal. So I rule. So I'm okay with it now. It's just the offense just couldn't make one more first down. You got to be accurate with the ball. You got to catch the ball for once. 
and you got to execute your blocking. Like, you did really good against TCU. It's just you didn't execute good enough when you needed to. And of course, we left some points on the board, so you got to do that better, too. You got to give yourself some time to throw if you're going to throw. You got to, everyone, run blocking wise, you got to be really, really good at it, too. So that's another reason at all. And you got to move forward. So, and you can't concentrate on the outside noise and hyperventilate inside. Just, and you're on the road, and I've been hearing that the guys are responding really, really good after that loss, and they're and they had a good energy today as well according to the press conference so that is good news and I'm going to put that press conference in the description below and I know Texas wants to needs to win this game in order to give themselves a chance to be in a Big 12 title game let's just deny it right there that way we know they're out of the way they can't get in the Big 12 title game but I know but as, and we need to find a way to bounce back after two losses in a row. I mean, I had a nail biter of a game last game and then a blowout against Kansas State. So you definitely played better than a Kansas State game, but you didn't end up with the win. And let's not be like, we're going to compete for one quarter, but then forget it the rest of the game just to put concentrate on the bowl game here. No, that's not. If anyone was thinking that, you'll be fooling yourselves. They don't want to lose. Nobody wants to lose. So, let's go out there, give our best shot against Texas, and it's on Friday, which is why I'm kind of re recording this early, to get it out of the way, and y'all can see the stats before I even get before even the game is going to be kicked off. So, anyways, if you like this content, hit the like and subscribe button. See you guys later. It's going to 400 subscribers or more by the end of this year or sometime in the future. And let's ruin their senior day. Texas senior day. Let's ruin it. And ruin B. John Robinson's last game in a Texas uniform at that stadium. Let's go.